Hi, so this is another uh, episode of my juicing some fruits and vegetables using my blend bag and we're gonna put some uh, tiny water so what I have over here is some blueberries bananas avocado a spinach strawberries apple cucumber honey and we're gonna add some collagen so we'll i'll try to prepare this and soak this and to tie in alkaline water and i'll get back with you later on so i'm uh gonna use alkaline four because uh my alkaline four is uh it's almost as high as my turbo water and strong enough to uh, strip out all the herbicides, pesticides, and sexicides or uh, and the regular dirt on those fruits and vegetables. But uh, if you can buy um, uh, organic, it, it's better. So it, it's actually uh, uh, you know, easier to clean. So, so I'm getting some alkaline level 4 and then I'm gonna Soak my uh, strawberries and spinach. So, let me put this water, and I got some already in here. And So I'm going to cut all this uh, spinach and I'm going to put this on this green container and I'm going to get some more uh, alpine for to soak this. I transferred the leaves to a bigger container, the spinach, and I'm going to pour in some uh, alkaline pour to soak this for... I usually soak this for about 10 to 15 minutes, but, but these are all... Um, my ingredients are mostly uh, organic, so I think it, it should be okay with just uh, the, uh, maybe one one uh, soak um, one soaking on the, this container. But the the only thing that is not uh, organic that I bought is this uh, uh, strawberry, and I don't know if you can see it, but the water is. Uh, already <clears throat> already uh, kind of yellow from all the herbicides pesticides insecticides that that are on the strawberries so it's gonna get cleaned so we're gonna leave that and then maybe uh, uh, soak it for another more uh, that maybe one more time but I think the this uh, leaf should be okay with maybe just one because these are organic. Berries here too and I'm gonna soak it together with this apple. They're they're both organic so I think they should be okay with maybe just uh, one uh, soaking from uh, tiny water, alkaline pour. So what what uh, um, the the water the water that's uh, the type of water from the alkaline ionized water um, it's the molecules are too small and they're the ones that are uh, cleaning basically the the fruits and vegetables or they're stripping out the herbicides pesticides and insecticides. I don't know if you can see it on this angle. It's kind of hard, but uh, on the naked eye, right, right now, uh, the water on this one, strawberries, they're really yellowish in color, and compared to this one uh, on the spinach, maybe I can transfer this water after after I take out all the strawberries, and I can show you guys. Maybe if I transfer it on the white plastic or white container. So I got the uh, cucumber here, and I'm gonna I'll just wash them with uh, 
alkaline level four. We have so cucumber and avocado. Just to remove all the dirt and from the outside. So so when I when I uh, when I clean when I cut this, it should be clean. So it's not gonna get contaminated. So I'm gonna move this, uh, it's been sitting here for a while, so I'm gonna move the strawberry. And I'm gonna show you guys what I was, what I was talking about, the, the color. I know in the camera, might be hard to see that the color uh, change, but for the strawberry, which is the only one that's uh, uh, not organic, so the water actually turned to yellow. So I have this uh, small glass container and I'm going to transfer this water here so you guys can see hopefully how the color uh, changed to a different one. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys can see it from, from that white background but that definitely uh, changed the, the color. To yellow yellow kind of brown brown so that's the here let me uh, replace this with uh, uh, so it looks kind of like a rusty in color but so right there you I don't know if you guys can see it's not it's really dark so I'm gonna throw this away and I'm gonna soak it uh, one more time and then what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna save this and then uh, I'm gonna do, uh, do the compare the water from this uh, organic uh, spinach okay So here, uh, I put the strawberries here again, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to soak it again uh, one more time with alkaline pine water. So hopefully uh, whatever is left on the strawberries uh, will be cleaned by the pine alkaline pour. So, so remember this. Uh, so I'm going to pour uh, alkaline uh, pour again, pine alkaline pour to the strawberries. So whatever is left over from that uh, herbicide, sexicide, pesticide, we're hopefully gonna get cleaned by uh, the pine water. So we'll soak it for another 10, 10 to 12 minutes. And, uh, and then so hopefully uh, remember this uh, rusty color from the water from the first uh, soaking from the uh, uh, pine highlight water. So I have the apple. Uh, this apple is organic. Uh, so I'm gonna move it here, and so we can see the uh, the water. And uh, this is the uh, blueberries. They are organic also. So we'll see uh, how the water turned out with the organic. So hopefully we're hoping that. Uh, there's no chemicals uh, that are in the water. Uh, if, uh, if it's a little dirty, that's okay because at least we know it cleaned out the dirt from the fruits. But nothing like uh, yellowish in color that, that, is, that looks like a chemical that was on them. So, so here's the water from the organic uh, uh, blueberries and apple. So comparing the two, I don't know if you guys can see it, that the water on the organic uh, apple and blueberries, uh, it's a little dirty, uh, which is normal because um, they haven't been washed, but at least they're not this color that looks like uh, has some chemicals in it. So, so we know that it's really organic 
because uh, there was no chemicals on them. So I've been soaking these uh, strawberries for the second time. So I'm gonna move this uh, to this uh, container so we can see if um, uh, the water is still dirty uh, or because we, we were trying to get uh, rid of what's left from the first wash or from, yeah. So we're gonna put the strawberries there. So this one, this water, I'm gonna remove this. This is the one from uh, the apple and the uh, apple and the uh, blueberry. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna transfer this uh, this water to this glass so we can compare uh, if the water is still dirty and. I don't think I can do it with <laughs> with just one hand without spilling it. Uh, let's see. Oh, maybe I can do it. Maybe I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. Oh no. Oh no. I make a mess. Uh, well, a little bit is there. As you can see that the water is... I got a little bit in there, but you can see that the water is uh, a little cleaner now. So we're going to go ahead and uh, just rinse the strawberries a little bit. Uh, one more time with alkaline four and then we're gonna go start blending the fruits and vegetables hi so we're back after everything got soaked and cleaned and peeled um, i put a handful of spinach in the blender and half of the cucumber um, a handful of uh, the blueberries so I'll put a little bit more and the strawberries usually I put uh, uh, six pieces and uh, I'll put some uh, half of the avocado so I use a spoon just to scoop it out. And uh, apple, half of the apple. So this is the so you take out the core of the uh, apple, take out the seed, and with the uh, cucumber, it's up to you if you want to remove the seeds or not. Uh, and um, so, so that I put. Uh, <laughs> five scoops of honey a tablespoon so that's about four you can do five or six it's up to you but sometimes it gets too sweet so and uh, and I add uh, five scoops of my my collagen 
This is good for skin, hair, bones. So it's four, five. There you go. And I also add uh, banana. Seems like it's a lot, but once it gets uh, blended, uh, there's not a whole lot. So. Use the cold water and I'll use alkaline four because that's the level I drink. This water is full of uh, antioxidants and everything, uh, it's good for your health. And usually I, once the water gets to about maybe a third, then I stop it, then I start blending it. So, uh, here's the, the cover. So you can use uh, any kinds of blender, but to do this, but I use my uh, blend vac as uh, my blender because what it does it uh, sucks all the air out before it starts blending it to keep the fruits and vegetables fresh. And you just press it, you pick vacuum high, but V blend, which is vacuum and blending, low or pulse. But I usually use the V blend and I, I just press it once and I leave it. I leave it to do its job. So what it, what's happening right now, it's vacuuming all the air out before it starts blending it. So now it's done, uh, it takes about a minute and a half to blend everything. So because I'm, uh, I will be blending uh, two batches, I have a, uh, one more batch over here. So I'm gonna put it on this, uh, my uh, extra container that comes with the system. So to release it, you gotta re remove this one to release the air because it's vacuum. So you won't be able to to open it up without doing that so we can fill it up to about 900 milliliters what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna seal this close it like that and this one I can put this back to the blend back close it and then just go use the vacuum to to remove the the air. So now that you can see it's taking out all the air, and once it got all the air out, it will stop. There you go. So now it's uh, it's gonna keep it fresh, so you can take it out. <laughs> 